Hello everyone and welcome to rchelp.com. I'm Tony and today I'm going to show you guys how to properly apply thread lock to a bolt. Now remember, thread lock only goes on a bolt that's going to be screwed into metal. As you can see here, we've got our thread lock, we've got our bolt, and we've got the old tail block off the 600. Now first thing first, you have to remember, only get, you can kind of barely read it right there, only get the medium blue thread lock. You should never ever use red thread lock even though it's in a red bottle this is actually blue thread lock now to properly apply the thread lock what i do is i put the bolt on my allen driver and then i just dab just a touch to the very tip now if you wait just a second you'll see that it starts kind of seeping down into them threads and then what i'll do is i'll kind of take it and run it on my finger to get all that excess off and what that's going to do is once you start threading this in it's going to keep all that excess from squeezing out especially in like your feathering shaft where you have your bearings right there you don't want that stuff squeezing out you only want to put it on the tip that way as you keep going in it'll spread it throughout the threads and then lock it in place now as you can see it kind of comes out the back over here but this is actually where the vertical stabilizer goes so it won't go in any more than that but as you saw, you don't need a whole lot of thread lock on these to make them secure. You only need a little bit. Be sure to take your finger and just kind of run it on your finger to where you get a lot of it off and then screw it in and then give it time to dry. Guys, I hope this helps you out. Uh, this thread lock, it's, it's not cheap stuff, I'll tell you that. And the more you can save, the better. So guys, apply just a very little amount, wait for it to kind of seep into them threads, and then use your finger to get off any excess so that you don't get a whole bunch of thread lock into your bearings or anything. As you can see on this one right here, the guy before me put a, I mean he put a crap load too much thread lock on this thing, and it come all the way out here, and this aluminum piece is actually locked to the bolt itself. That's way too much. You only need it on this very front part. So guys... I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, come over to the forum. Be sure to like us on Facebook. I've been posting quite a few things over there that I don't post on the forum for a couple days. Facebook users get kind of a little sneak peek of everything before the members on the forum do. So come over, like us on Facebook, come over to the forum, post up. Let me know if you have any more little tips like this that we can share with other members that are getting into the hobby. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.